Hello, my smart and talented friends, and welcome to the Global Science Network. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a half adder, and then I'm going to show you four different ways to build a full adder. At the Global Science Network, we focus on three main projects. First, solving the world's energy problems with a novel renewable energy technology. Second, solving unified field theory. And third, creating non-biological human consciousness. If this sounds like something that you would be interested in working on, check out our website, gsnetwork.com, subscribe to our email list there, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to start out by talking about how to build a half adder. Right here is the truth table for it, and we have inputs A and B, and outputs carry out and sum. And if you look, we have zero plus zero equals zero, one plus zero equals one, zero plus one equals one, and one plus one equals two, which is one zero in binary. And what we want to be thinking about is how can we get these outputs by building different types of logic gates. So for our sum bit, we want the output to be zero, one, one, zero. And if you remember, an exclusive OR gate has that output. So for our first bit, we're gonna build an exclusive OR gate. For our second bit, the carry out, we want the output to be zero, 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 one and we can use an AND gate to accomplish this because that is the output of an AND gate. So for our second bit, we built an AND gate. If you look at this diagram, you can see that that's what we want. We want to feed in inputs A and B into an exclusive OR gate and into an AND gate, and we'll get the output for the SUM bit and the CARRY OUT bit. Right here, you can see that this is what we built. We have the exclusive OR gate and the AND gate. Now let's test the circuit to see if it's working properly. Right now, we have input A and input B both on. So we have one plus one equals two, which is one zero in binary. If we remove input A, now we have zero plus one equals one. If we remove inputs A and B, now we have zero plus zero equals zero. The final case is if we just have input A plugged in, now we have one plus zero equals one. By using this exclusive OR gate and AND gate, we are able to get the values in this truth table for a half adder, but what we really want to build is a full adder. And with a full adder, we're going to have one more input. So we're gonna have inputs A, B, and C, and our outputs are going to be the same, carry out and sum. Now we're gonna talk about how to build a full adder. We have inputs A, B, and carry in, and we have the outputs the same as before, carry out and sum. The first four cases are the same as before, but now we're gonna add four more cases for whenever the carry in is turned on. And you can see that now we'll be able to add up to three. So we'll have one plus one plus one equals three, which is one one in binary. We have exclusive OR gate one and AND gate one, the same as we did in the half adder, but now we're going to have to add some other logic gates to account for this carry in. So let's first look at this first sum bit. We have exclusive OR gate one, the same as before, and the output of that is actually going to feed into input A of exclusive OR gate two, and then our carry in comes in and feeds into input B of exclusive OR gate two. So if this exclusive OR gate was on, and it feeds into input A, and this one is off, our sum is still going to be on. If we have this one turned on and our carry in turned on, this will be turned off. If this exclusive OR gate is off, but our carry in is on, then our output is on, which is what we want. Now, if we look at our carry out, we have an AND gate, AND gate, and both of these feed into this last OR gate. So this means that if this AND gate is on or this AND gate is on, our carry out is going to be on. So this is exactly what we want to get these values of our carry out. So if A and B are on, this is on, and we want our output to be on. If our exclusive OR gate was on and our carry input was on, this is case number two, this will feed into the OR gate and it will also be on. If both AND gates are off, our OR gate is off and our carry output will be off. Here we have full adder one, and right here is the truth table for it. The truth table for all of these full adders is going to be the same. However, how we build each full adder is going to be different. For this one, we use two exclusive OR gates, two AND gates, and an OR gate. Right here, we have the circuit diagram for it. You can see we have inputs A and B, and our other input is our carry in. 
This circuit diagram is not exactly the same as this circuit because the circuit diagram is drawn as if input A was coming in right here and input B was coming in right here. However, we actually bring in these inputs by going across these LEDs to help illustrate how the circuit works. So we actually have the inputs come in here and here. They go across the LEDs, across the switches, and then they do make their way into the input of these two transistors. This circuit is laid out how it is drawn in this diagram. So exclusive OR gate one consists of these six transistors. Exclusive OR gate two consists of these six transistors. AND gate one is made with these three transistors. AND gate two is made with these three transistors. And finally, our OR gate is made using these three transistors. Now we can test the circuit to see if it's working. Right now we have zero plus zero equals zero. And then we have one plus zero equals one. Zero plus one equals one. One plus one equals two which is one zero in binary. And finally, we can add this last resistor into the carry in, which is right here. And now we get one plus one plus one equals three, which is one one in binary. Here we have full adder two, which is a second way to build a full adder. And you can see how it is built. It is actually built by using nine NAND gates. And each NAND gate is actually only two transistors. So this is drawn how it is shown in the schematic here, where these two transistors here is NAND gate one, NAND gate two, NAND gate three, NAND gate four, etc. the whole way down. Right here we have the circuit diagram. Again, it's not identical to this circuit because this circuit diagram is drawn as if input A was coming in right here and input B was coming in right here. We can test to see if this circuit works as we expect. We can turn on input A and we have one plus zero equals one. We can turn on input B and we have zero plus one equals one. Turn on both, one plus one equals two. And now we'll do the carry bit. Our CN is supposed to come in right here. So we'll just connect positive five volts to right here. And now we have one plus one plus one equals three, which is one one in binary. So this is full adder two. And let's compare it to full adder number one. Full adder one is the way that a lot of people show as the best way to build a full adder. However, if you're using individual transistors, it required 21 transistors to build this. And this full adder number two, using nine NAND gates, only required 18 transistors. So this one right here required less transistors, and you can just see by looking at these two, this one was actually able to be built by pretty much just using the top half of the breadboard, and this one used pretty much the whole breadboard, required quite a bit of complex wiring, and this one is actually pretty simple. So out of these two, full adder number two would be the easier one to build. Here we have full adder number three. And this one is built by using nine NOR gates. So each NOR gate only requires two transistors. So these two transistors are NOR gate one, these two transistors are NOR gate two, and then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this last one is NOR gate number nine. Let's test this circuit to see if it works. If we turn on input A, we can see we have one plus zero equals one. If we turn on input B, we have zero plus one equals one. And if we turn on A and B, we have one plus one equals two, which is one zero. And again, we can add our carry. So we'll take this resistor here and we'll put it into our carry slot, where if you look at our circuit diagram, it is right here. So we'll go from our positive five volts and we'll put it in here. And now we have one plus one plus one equals three, which is one one. This was full adder number two and this was full adder number three. Both of these actually require 18 transistors, so they're comparable on that front. But since we're building this one out of NOR gates, 
they actually required a little bit more space so this one actually ended up having to come down onto the second half of this breadboard so I would still say that full adder number two is the best one to build in most cases and finally we have full adder number four this is actually built the same as full adder number one, except for rather than using individual transistors, we're going to be using these integrated circuit chips. This one is an exclusive OR gate, this one is an AND gate, and this one is an OR gate. Listed below is the serial number for each chip, and each chip actually has four of each logic gate within the chip. We could go to the data sheet to see the pinout of these chips, but they're actually all the same, so I just included it right here. And we can see it has logic gate 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have inputs A and B, and the output is Y. We also have the ground in VCC. For this exclusive OR gate, we're using exclusive OR gate 3 and 4. For this AND gate, we're using AND gate 1 and 2. And for this OR gate, we're using OR gate 1. Just in case it's not clear how this circuit is working, I did include the circuit diagram right here. Now let's test the circuit to see if it's working properly. We have 1 plus 0 equals 1, and then we have 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, which is 1, 0 in binary. And finally, we'll add this resistor into the carry-in. The carry-in is actually this 2.2K resistor right here. So we will add it right there. And now we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, which is 1, 1 in binary. In one of our future videos, we're going to be taking these four individual full adders, and we're going to be turning that into a 4-bit calculator. So make sure you look for that video coming up.